Hey everybody, thank you for stopping by and welcome back to the Dapper Club. As of the recording of this video, we are within two weeks of the Modern Warfare 3 integration and the introduction of Urzikstan into Warzone. With the new game comes new mechanics, weapons, and equipment. While new maps and guns are exciting, I thought it would be a good time to review the basics on what really separates successful Battle Royale players. I'm now a pro player, but I would say there are some tips I can share with you that will significantly improve your play or at least serve as a good reminder for the basics. Without further ado, let's get into it. Tip number one, the three R's. How do you handle engagements? Do you immediately go for the finish after downing someone? Do you remember to replate in the midst of a fight? There are split second decisions that happen in fights that can significantly impact your team's ability to come out on top. I'm going to point out that this is nothing new in terms of a BR tip. Many players talk about this. I think I first heard about it from Iceman Isaac on YouTube. The three R's are as follows. Reposition, reload, replate. These are about as straightforward as they sound. Are you remembering to reset mid-fight to increase your odds of winning? Most teams start to scramble when a fight starts and forget these three concepts. Be sure to reposition in the midst of a fight, allowing yourself time to reload and replate. There are plenty of times I find myself downing one opponent, but I'm down two plates and my mag is half empty. What's the point of staying in the same spot to take on one or two more players? So remember to relax. That downed enemy isn't going anywhere. Even with a self-revive, it's going to take him some time to get back up, and even if he does, he's a one-tap. Give yourself the best chance of taking on a team by resetting the situation. Quick break, I'm just curious, have you subscribed yet? Whether this first tip was brand new or a reminder for you, be sure to drop me a like and follow. Welcome to the Dapper Club. Tip number two, clock awareness and positioning. I can't tell you how many games I've lost simply because I'm not paying attention to where the circle is ending on the map. After just a few fights, you might find yourself at the fourth circle and having to rotate up a very difficult part of the map. So throughout the game, be sure to constantly be communicating with your team so that everyone is on the same page in terms of where you need to end up to gain a strong position for the final circle. You might be able to shoot lasers, but why make it harder for yourself in the end game? Tip number three, equipment for the final circle. This is another fairly obvious tip, but a good reminder. Give yourself options when getting out of a tough situation. Be sure at some point to load up on PAs, self revives, med vests, smokes, durables, and reinforcement flares if appropriate. Again, you won't always be able to have these on hand, but if you've got the cash and a safe buy, load up. Many games come down to a clutch gas play, so don't get caught losing simply because you didn't spend the cash. Holding $20,000 in the final circle isn't going to do you any favors. That about does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a comment below with one of your favorite Warzone tips. Let's all get better together. Until next time, have a good one.